dressing room. Don't forget what I told you. I want no noise with the head. Shake hands. Matty Corners. Good luck, fellas. Couldn't be more specific than that. Great night here in Nottingham for this uh, derby. Nottingham against Derby. Last glance at the photographers by uh, Mickey Van. For the first round. So on the line, the Commonwealth Championship, which is held by the man in the snakeskin print trunks, Carl Frotch, and the vacant British title very much at stake. Tony Dodson, on no fewer than three occasions, was unable to come in and face Carl Frotch, and Damon Haig has got, well, the biggest chance of his uh, career. It's been very difficult to get a bet on Carl Frotch as far as this one is concerned. But then, as we know from Damon Haig, He's always got that old puncher's chance, hasn't he? He certainly has got a puncher's chance. Frotch doesn't want to take any unnecessary risk because Haig is so fired up for this fight, you wouldn't believe. Hugely committed Christian uh, Damon Haig believes that he's going to get some divine inspiration to win both these titles here this evening. 12 three-minute runs, at 12 stone the limit. Frotch just a pound under Haig, exactly 12 stone, looking short and chunky. A former WBF super middle and middle champion, and a former Midlands area champion at middleweight. Frotch has long since given up his English title at super middle. Mickey Van not too happy, and that's the opening round with what Damon Haig's been up to. Frotch looking very casual indeed, and well, we've said all the way through his career, Duke, that we worry about that left hand being held pretty low, but so far it hasn't cost him. So far it hasn't cost him. You know, he's, he's a, a genuine talent, he's the Commonwealth champion. Now they've got the championship on the line now, uh, with the British championship also. So, you know, I, I, I do expect big things from Frotch. Well, he's always said he wants to do things the traditional way, British, Commonwealth, European and world. The win tonight would give him the second leg of that. Good left hand by Frotch, straight in there. Hey, covering up. Frotch interestingly going to the body, that was a slip. Mickey Van straight in, recognised it as such. Remember, no judges at the uh, British and Commonwealth level, just the man in the middle. Aggressive, angry start by Carl Frotch. Looking hugely confident, knows he can't afford to let this one slip. His former, former amateur teammate David Hay lost his unbeaten record just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm sure Frotch will have noticed that. Well, you know, he got beat making the same mistake as he, that Frotch is doing right now, but keeping his hands so low. Oh, the price, but what a shot! That came out what a right hand! That was not a slip. That was not a slip. That was a stunning shot. And Haig is all over the place. And I don't think it's going to last. He looks up and he says, "I'm fine." He says, "I'm all right." The Engel family in the corner cannot believe it. Mickey Van's going to have a look at him. Only a few seconds remaining. The first was a slip, the second was as hard a right hand, and he's got him again. And it's not going to go past the first round. I'm sure Mickey Van was going to call this off. He's letting it go on. Haig is in dreadful trouble now. The legs have gone, and he stopped it. What a victory for Brock, the most spectacular of his career so far. 14 straight wins, his 11th inside the distance. And what a way to win a British title. A first round stoppage by Carl the Cobra Frotch. And he lived up to his nickname. He struck with deadly, deadly accuracy. And it wasn't anything delayed at all. The first was a slip, the second was perfect. And the third was really just the icing on the cake for Frotch. That was an extraordinary finish. Well, blink and you miss it as I did. A blink and Damon Haig was on the floor. Uh, lightning punch by Frotch, just so relaxed, so cool. Well, here's the first one. A little short, sweeping right hand just uh, delivered from about waist level, and Haig was actually ducking into it. And Haig, look at him, he's totally bewildered. The knees are wobbling, the mouth is open, straight through the middle, and a peach of a left hook round the corner. Right down the pipe, the right hand, the left hook by Frotch. Just didn't see it coming. As you said before, he's dipped up to his Cobra nickname. The punches were so quick, he did it with such venom. Well, Damon Haig's chin simply wasn't up to the test that was posed by Carl Frotch. And Carl Frotch and a very delighted manager, Mick Hennessy, there. 
And Carl Frotch came in with the Commonwealth title belt. He will go out with that, and he will go out, more importantly, perhaps for him, with the British title belt. And Damon Hay can have no real complaints. How Tony Dodson might have fared, well, we still have to wait and see. Perhaps that contest will never, ever happen. But Carl Frotch won't really care, because he's been talking about how good he is, and how good he is relatively with one or two other British sportsmen. But certainly on a performance like that, you couldn't complain. Well, well, well. We thought Damon Haig might last uh, a little bit longer than that, but once that first right hand landed, and more importantly, when the second right hand and the left hook landed, the contest was well and truly over, and the right decision was by referee Mickey Van. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes and ten seconds of the first round, the referee has stopped the contest. Damon Haig being in no position to defend himself, the winner and still Commonwealth and new British Super Middleweight Champion, Carl the Cobra Frotch. Well, he really left nothing to chance. And ladies and gentlemen, and he struck please in very spectacular fashion against Damon Haig, who was, uh, well, 